Hi guys, my name is Hitesh and I'm from Tulani Maritime Institute. If you are preparing for your Merchant Navy entrance exam, be it IMU CET, TMI SAT, sponsorship exam, interviews or anything else, please check out our channel on Instagram by the name of InShort Maritime. We have hosted certain batches that will most definitely help you in increasing your performance and will uplift your chances of getting selected. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to my channel by the name of InShort Maritime and today our topic is IMUCET. So if you are going to apply for any course which requires IMUCET or if you are preparing for these exams, so in this video we are going to share some of the very important details. Basically this video is your guide that you need to know before you appear or plan to appear for the IMUCET examination. Now first of all it is important to know what is IMU CET or basically what is IMU because IMU can uh, basically hosts its CET so IMU is Indian Maritime University so it is directly affiliated to the government so you need to appear for it now first of all obviously you have to appear for IMU CET when you are applying for colleges which are affiliated to Indian Maritime University. So first thing that I would like to share with you all and this video will consist of everything dates, how you're supposed to fill your application form, what is the eligibility criteria and what will be the exam pattern or the syllabus, how you're supposed to prepare it and some of the very important questions. And uh, so first and foremost is the dates. It is important to know the dates of the exam. So these dates are tentative as we know that the world is going through or was going through a pandemic and the rules and regulations are still a little stringent so you never know when things will change but how things stand as of now I will post that image in front of you. So first of all the application form will be available in the first week of May. So the application form will be available in the first week of May obviously 2022. And the last date that you can fill your form is the second week of June. So it begins on first week of May and uh, the last date to submit online application form is in the second week of June. Now, once you will register for your IMU CT, they will send an admit card. So you cannot appear for this exam in whatever center you go through because this exam usually happens in a center or maybe if it is online you need to have that admit card because that is your ticket that is your ticket to sit for the exam so it will be available on during the third week of june your admit card will be available it has all of the details that you need to have or you need to show when you enter the center now the tentative date of when imu ct the exam will actually happen is in the first week of july so you can expect the exam will happen in the first week of july and usually they do not take a lot of time in declaring the results so you can expect the results by second or third week of july and as soon as the result is published they start off with the counseling for the new campuses they start with the counseling so i will repeat the dates once again in hindi this time application form available hoga aapka first week of may se theek hai application form yani ki aapka us form ko apply kar sakte hain first week of may May ke pehle hafte mein available hoga uske baad second week of june jo june ka dusra hafta hoga wo aakhri time hoga jab aap wo application form ko bhar sakte hain bahut log mujhse puchte bhi hain ki ye aakhri date kab hai bharne ki to second week of june aakhri date hogi aapke online application form ko bharne ki admit card jo ki bahut zaruri hota hai exam mile jane ke liye uski jo date hogi wo third week of june mein aapko available hoga aapko mil sakta hai online download karna hota hai you have to download it online then IMU CT hoga kab exam kab hoga to wo first week of july mein ho sakta hai result declaration result aapka second week of july exam ke ek hafta ya 10 din ke andar aa jata hai aur bas uske ek do din baad se aapki counseling start ho jati hai now the next point is obviously these are some important details that i will share with you all that you need to know IMU CT का एप्लीकेशन ऑनलाइन ही रिलीज होगा इसको आप ऑफलाइन कहीं से जाके परचेज या किसी सेंटर पे जाके नहीं कर सकते हैं बहुत ऑब्वियस ही चीज है बट मैं क्लियर कर देता हूं सिर्फ इट कैन हैपन ओनली थ्रू ऑनलाइन मोड ओके एंड कंफर्म योर एलिजिबिलिटी बिफोर यू अप्लाई 
for the application form because again if you are not eligible then it is useless for you so please check your eligibility and when you will fill your form jab bhi aap apna form bharenge please follow the instructions very carefully if you miss any important detail or if you enter it in a wrong manner no matter no matter even if your exam you have prepared so much nothing will matter because if your details or you do not follow the instruction file filling the form then it is invalid nobody will even look at the application so just take care of that now obviously the details that you will uh, enter in your application form need to be completely authentic ye authentic honi chahiye isme bilkul bhi idhar udhar ki baatein do not try to go around because everything is written everything is in records so ensure that uh, you go by that and obviously fill your form before the last date because once that date is gone there is absolutely no way for you to be able to fill the form okay as i said the last week is second week of june there will be a fixed date you will be told about it but once the last day ends there is no way that you will be able to appear for the exam so please be very careful regarding that now fees basically when you will fill the exam what would be the fees of the application so for general and obc ncl uh, category candidates it is going to be 1000 rupees 1000 rupees inr will be the fees and for sc and st category candidates it is going to be rupees 700 700 rupees so 1000 rupees 1000 rupees aapka general category ke liye और ओ बी सी एन सी एल कैटेगरी के लिए और एस सी एस टी कैटेगरी के लिए सात सौ रुपये है नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया और ये एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया और जैसा कि मेरा चैनल है यूजली कवर्स ओनली यू जी कोर्सेज अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्सेज सो मरीन इंजीनियरिंग और बी एस सी नॉटिकल साइंस में जो भी अप्लाई कर रहा है उसके लिए मैं एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया बता देता हूँ आई विल टेल यू दी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो एज लिमिट है सेवनटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स के बीच में होना चाहिए योर एज लिमिट शुड बी सेवेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स अब इसमें कुछ लोग बोलेंगे मैं तो अगस्त में या जुलाई में पैदा हुआ हूँ सो लेट मी टेल यू वेरी क्लियरली योर एज एज ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू को जो भी आपकी एज होगी उस समय आपको सेवेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव का होना कंपल्सरी है अगर फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी टू को आप 16 इयर्स के हैं यानी यू आर मोर देन 25 फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड देन देर इज अगेन नो पॉइंट इन फिलिंग द फॉर्म बिकॉज यू आर इन एलिजिबल फॉर इट एंड अगेन देर इज अ फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन फॉर एस सी एंड एस टी कैंडिडेट्स अगर आप में से कोई भी अप्लाई कर रहा है सो ओके एंड ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू पास योर टेन प्लस टू योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम अ रिकग्नाइज बोर्ड ठीक है गवर्नमेंट बोर्ड जो भी है सी बी एस ई आई सी एस सी स्टेट बोर्ड विच एवर बोर्ड यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर टेन प्लस टू फ्रॉम इट नीड्स टू बी अ रिकग्नाइज बोर्ड ओके एंड वॉट एवर स्ट्रीम यू हैव चोजन देर आर डिफरेंट अगेन बोर्ड्स दैट ऑफर डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम स्ट्रीम्स बट यू नीड टू हैव फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स एंड इंग्लिश इन योर एज योर मैंडेटरी सब्जेक्ट्स ऑब्वियसली पी सी एम विद इंग्लिश मैंडेटरी है and you need to have 60% of pcm aggregate bare minimum pcm aggregate ka matlab hai physics chemistry aur maths mein specifically jitne marks aapke aaye hain usko add karke divide by 3 kar do wo 60 ke upar hona chahiye out of all of the marks that you have got now next is uh, english so in english you need to have at least 50% of marks so ensure that you have 50% of marks in english in 10th and 12th both if you have lesser than 50% then again it is a huge problem for you all all and again that makes you ineligible now let us quickly talk about the imu ct 2022 exam pattern so obviously it is going to be the online in the online format online cbt format द क्वेश्चन विल बी इन एम सी क्यू फॉर्म मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एक एक क्वेश्चन आए तो उसमें चार ऑप्शन हो गए उनमें से कोई एक आपको मार्क करना पड़ेगा एग्जाम के लिए यू हैव थ्री आवर्स द एम यू सी टी एग्जाम इज ऑफ थ्री आवर्स एंड देर आर टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन इन योर आई एम यू सी टी एग्जाम फॉर यू जी कोर्सेज ऑब्वियसली सो थ्री आवर्स में यू हैव टू अटैम्प्ट टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन नाउ 
that means that you have 180 minutes. Three hours means 180 minutes, and you have 200 questions. So you have less than a minute for answering one question if you attempt all of them. So that means that when you actually appear for your exam, you need to be very, very quick in your answers. Marking scheme, there is no negative marking. There is never neg any negative marking in NUCT and for every single right uh, answer that you give, you will get one mark. Okay, again, no negative marking plus one mark for every single right exam that you give, uh, right answer that you give. Now, what would be the IMUCT syllabus? So, IMUCT syllabus is very, very at par, basically similar to your board's syllabus. Jo bhi boards mein padha hai, physics, chemistry, maths, English, wahi sab aata hai. Now, if I could break it down for you all, then on an average, again, this number keeps on changing, but there are 50 questions of physics, 50 questions of maths, 25 questions of chemistry, 25 questions of general knowledge, 25 questions of uh, aptitude, and 25 questions of English. So, this is the importance that you can give to all of these subjects. Now, this might 25 to 20 or 29, you never know. Okay, kam zada hota hai. So, you need to understand that the level of the exam will be equivalent to your boards, but then for aptitude and general knowledge, you have to work in a different manner because this is something that maybe you might, you might not have prepared in school. So for aptitude, I will share because I always share this. There is a site by the name of indiabix.com, India, I-N-D-I-A-B-I-X, indiabix.com. So this is the site. You can always go to indiabix.com and practice a lot of different kinds of aptitude. They will be very similar to what you will get in an IMCT exam. And general knowledge is something which is very general. So basically what I mean by that is it could be anything. They could ask you history, they could ask you current affairs. Current affairs is something that is usually asked. So please be very thorough with your current affairs. So I think uh, this was regarding the IMUCT syllabus. Now some of the common questions, when can you apply for the exam? I told you first May 2022. Application form ki last date hai, second June, mother second week of June, sorry. And the IMUCT application is only available in the online format. And the exam will also be conducted in the online format. And uh, the exam will have multiple choice questions, MCQ questions. Marking scheme again is one mark for every right answer and no negative marking for a wrong answer. So obviously attempt all of the questions. How many questions will be asked in the examination? So 200 questions and you have to answer them in 180 minutes. And again, there is no negative marking. So now coming to the experiences or the various you know inputs that I have from other people, Many of you will ask me, sir, how much should I score to get a good rank? So you cannot compare it from any previous batch because the competition was different. Everybody had studied different. So you need to understand rank is something which is compared. Okay. So your rank highly or majorly depends upon baki lo kaisa perform kar rahe. Us pe depend karta hai ki aapki rank kaisi aegi. So iska koi cut off nahi hai. Exam, if it is very tough, it can be a good rank for a few answers. If it is very easy, it can be a good rank for a few answers. So you never know. Basically, there is no set criteria. Nobody can tell you how many marks you score, how many ranks you will get. But if you have a good rank, you will get a good rank. And if you have a good rank, you will get a good rank. But a good rank or an affordable rank or something that is in your approach should be try to keep it below 1500 or 1000. It is quite possible. I just focused on my boards or my rank around 1000 ki hi a gai thi. That is how I got into Tolani Maritime Institute and I am currently pursuing Marine Engineering from TMI, Tolani Maritime Institute as I said. So if you will just focus on your boards and if you will focus upon whatever has been taught to you from class 9 to 12, then you should be good to go. Now mark all of the questions because even if you just blindly mark any answer, you are not going to lose anything. If it's right, good for you. If it's wrong, then you're not losing anything because there is no negative marking and every student marks all of the questions because when they don't have a lot of time, then they just 
test their luck they just try their luck and they keep on marking answers so obviously i won't promote that you should just blindly mark because then it will fluctuate the entire system but to be very honest people do that so again it is completely up to you what you want to do with this but my job was to share this with you now if you are preparing for your nuct exam or if you are preparing for your merchant navy interview because obviously if you will give your nuct exam for anything marine engineering or bsc nautical science you will have to give your interview so my channel by the name of in short maritime as you can see i am available on instagram mera instagram pe account hai in short maritime ke naam se i host certain batches i host certain classes and these are very quick classes because i we understand that most of the students have studied physics chemistry maths etc so we try to share important topics for the exams we try to teach you the important topics for the exam and the strategies through which you can score very 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 high in your written exam be it imct or be it sponsorship exams whatever merchant navy entrance that you are applying for it is written we will teach you we will guide you through it whole heartedly and we've been doing this kafi samay se hum ye cheez kar rahe hain and it has shown very very positive results so if you are interested then you can message me on in short maritime and you can also check my highlights on instagram because wahan pe maine ye sab jitne bhi classes hain unki details rakhi hui hain similarly for interview batch interview mein kya kya pucha ja sakta hai kaise answer karna hai what the interviewer expects from you all of that mock interviews nervousness hoti hai ghabrahat hoti hai pata nahi hai us sab ki training bhi we give in our in short maritime ka interview batch so if you are interested in joining that you can also check it out on in short maritime even if you are not interested that is okay i just hope that this video was helpful to you two years ago i had made a very very in depth video on imuct i am going to put the link of that video in the description box so you can check it over there if you are interested and thank you so much for supporting the channel and if you got any help or any awareness or you like this video then please like the video subscribe to my channel comment ask your doubts reach to us on again instagram or you can comment down on youtube and whatever your query is i will try to help you with it and until then keep preparing keep yourself extremely healthy stay motivated stay motivated it is just an exam and students like you will give it so there is no reason why you should not get a very very good rank you should get a very good rank if you are appearing for it so all the best to all of you signing off until the next time